the ICC Championships from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. I'm Paul Grant with Bob Lee on Candlepin Bowling Network, your home for all things Candlepin. Our first of two matches today, and then later on we'll start our opening round playoffs tonight, later this afternoon, somewhere between 3.30 and 4 o'clock. Our first match today features Team USA and Academy Lanes. Academy Lanes, number one in their division right now at 56 and 16. Fenway Academy. Correction, Fenway Academy. We'll have Academy Lanes spot next to us. Fenway Academy is fighting for a spot. They're two points behind the fifth spot. The top five make the playoffs. One gets a bye. Academy Lanes is number one seed. Bison with four tie, but Academy with the pinfall. Has a tiebreaker. Outlaw rides from Canada is fourth, third. Bowling Ball Mafia fourth. And MH is fifth. And right here at Fenway Academy on lane 36 is Jason Doucette. Starts out with a nine. Their team is two points behind with two matches to go to get in the playoffs. If there's a tie, it's total pinfall. Sean Sears, rock, paper, scissors. Jimmy Kimmel Live Show twice. Starts out with a 10. Chase set from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Full of JD and seamless gutter balls in the mixed balls here in June. The Academy Lane gets eight. That's the six and the ten. Sean Sears from Chicopee, Massachusetts. There's a spare for guns. Jason Doucette. Joe Smith to follow. Kevin Kajan up next. The Team USA. Sean Sears has the 1, 9, and 10. Just underway. Academy Lanes, Route 125, Haverhill, Mass. In the Bradford section. Beautiful 44 lane facility, the biggest in the world. Featuring brand new Club 125. Check it out. Sears with 8, 18 through 2. One pin lead early for Fenway Academy. The story behind the name, their company paints the wall at Fenway Park. That's the way it's called Fenway Academy. Here's Joe Smith, the captain, bowling second, has the hay bale, the pack of five. 31% success rate for pro bowlers by Wood. All staff today provided by Canada Bowling Network. Here's Kevin Paddington for Team USA. He's got a 2 2 split. Smith is open to the 4 and the 8. Paddington, good try. Smith starts up with a nine. Padgington at nine also. Kevin from Limonster, Mass, originally now in Townsend, Massachusetts. Average 120 nowadays, career high for the season, 129. Joe Smith, the 112 league bowler from Wilmington, Massachusetts. His home lines here at Academy Lane, Table Mass. In the pocket, eight. The four to the left, the ten to the right. Padgington goes right. Four horsemen left, the one, two, four, seven. Thank you for watching our Kenneth Bowling Network. Please share this stream to your friends and family. Get the great game of Kenneth Bowling out there. Smith could try. Like, share, subscribe to Kenneth Bowling Network on YouTube. It's free. Kenneth Bowling Network. Please like so you get notified when matches start so you don't miss a box. And then share to all your friends and family to get this game, great game exposed out there. Kenneth Bowling Network on YouTube. Bob Lee, executive producer and founder. Formerly uh, Spread Eagle Productions, now Kenneth Bowling Bowling Network is on the score cam and on the technology. I'm on the raspy voice today. Padge at 10. Padge at 19 through 2. Smith 18 through 2. Tied 37 apiece. One bonus ball for Family Academy. Two points behind. MH for fifth place. Taking A will be huge for them. Here's Jay Simino from Merrimack, New Hampshire, the Fenway Academy. 
Jim Hazer. For Team USA. On Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day for all you veterans out there. Thanks to all those who served. Okay, stay up a signal. Ten of the ball in the Scottish match. Nice offer of goes. Yes, what a shot. Stay up a Hayes. Ten of the ball to start the first of three. Two points for a win, one for tie, two for total. First of two matches today, and then our third match later on, the opening round of the playoffs, all on Kendallton Bowling Network. You're home for all things Kendallton. Go <laughs> Simino, off to the right. Six has the one, two, four, and the ten. Sixteen through one. <clears throat> Hazer in the pocket looks good. Gets nine. Ten. Strike on Spare. 20 through one. 30 plus two through two. What a start. In second place the other night, Monday night, in the ICC singles knockout. Chris Merrill won the championship. Eight, 24 for 2, 67-61, 6-pin lead for Team USA. And it's way too early first game from Haverhill, Mass. The World Tournament on Canada Bowling Network. Does that like the great game of Canada Bowling? Get your friends and family Canada gift cards this holiday season, all season long. I'll support your local bowling centers. A great way to promote this game and get friends and family in the leagues and tournaments. Count the ball in this holiday season, the gift that keeps on giving. Fourth ball is Tim Jalbert. Youth coach here on Saturday mornings at Academy Lanes. Start cover the spare. Here's Jason Gothia Jr. on lane 35. He's got the 1 7. <laughs> Jason's 25 years old from Holyoke, Massachusetts, western part of the state, near Springfield. Starts up with eight. 75-71. JB's team is up by four. Two marks to one for Fenway Academy. One right here from Tim Jalbert on lane 36 at the World Tournament. First of three matches today on Kennel Bowling Network. Jalbert on the bonus goes left, gets four. We're tied. Good uh, just you know, note that, Jay, that Jason's coming in uh, as the number four bowler in the in the uh, B division with an average of 120, rounded up to 124. Thank you, Bubbly. On the spare four for Tim Jalbert, 14 through one. JV almost. Nice ten for Jalbert, 24 through two. It's been a fun week. It's been loud and crazy here. Enough like the World Tournament. Come on down to the Haverhill, Massachusetts, Bradford section. You won't be disappointed. 10 for JV, 18 through 2. Check out Pub 125. Brand new bar. Full bar. Great looking bar. Great staff. Great food. High quality. Pub 125, 725 South Main Street, Haverhill, Massachusetts. At Academy Lanes. Anchor Bullets, veteran. Brian Cole on lane 36, Penway Academy. It's Jeff Walsh, the fireballer, on lane 35. Brian at 34 miles an hour gets three. Jeff Walsh starting up slowly at 34 miles an hour. She goes a harder. Got 2-2-1 two, two, split. Cole, nice ball on the Archer Pin on carry. 4 7 10. Walsh. Good try. Got three of the five. That's the four of the seven. Four. Nice out for nine. Brian from Stone, Massachusetts. 123 average. Eight for Jeff Walsh. Now in San Down New Hampshire, eventually Somerville, Mass. They'll be turning 39 in just three days. Oh, 
Ryan Kroll off to the right gets three. Chip a 116 league bowler. Season high for a career, 124. Nice ball, 9, 10, strike. 18 plus 2, through 2 here in the first of three strings. First of three matches today, including the opening round playoffs on Canlipin Bowling Network. Oh, nice ball there, but won't carry. He has the 2 4 7. Object pin again, won't carry an 8, 17 through 2. Two watches down, 8 to go. First to three strings, Canopy Lanes, up by 25. The World Tournament, Paul Grant, Bob Lee on Canopy Bowling Network, 103 102. Early on, in favor of Team USA. Team USA cannot make the playoffs. They can play spoiler. But Fenway Academy can make it. They're only two points out. Fenway Academy coming in. Sean Sears, the three, six, ten, and the seven left. Two pieces of wood. Jason Doucette is on a spare in lane 35 here at Academy. Lanes at seven. 26 through two. Sears could try, won't go. He's been struggling. He's 117 goal. Normally, only averaging 90 point 100 recently. And after he said that, he only threw a 145 in the first string the other day. And 10 there for Sears. 28 for three. Good pinning. Looking for a mark. He said a 10. The Kong Guns, G U N Z, 36 to 3, at a spear 7 in the second. Sean Sears, high single, 178. That's a 1 2 4, 6 10 on the right. Jason, you said 112 average, career high for a season, 125. Like Ryan Cox throws up that same arm and foot as a bundle of six. Sean chops up a two. One, four, six, ten. I can sit down here if you want. Oh, no, no, I can't. Thank you very much, though. Okay. He sets open with a three, nine, to ten. Sears trying to get a couple. Got better than that. Got three. Nice pitting there. 37 to 4. Right, 10 for set. Good pitting. Pair of 10s. 46 to 4. First of three strings. Two points for a win. One for tie. Two for total. Fenway runs the table today. They'll make the playoffs more than likely. Kevin Padgett on the right for Team USA on Veterans Day. Joe Smith on the left for Fenway Academy. Kevin goes left, going up to seven. Smith in hit has the parallel pins. Four seven left. The middle is the five to the right, eight in the back left. Paddington goes left again, has the heavy on the pack of five. Smith is open. Seven. Kevin. Twenty-six through three. Smith a nine. Three nines. Twenty-seven through three. One thirty-eight. One twenty-nine. Fenway Academy in the lead by nine. No marks on the board for them. A strike on the board for Team USA. Paddington goes left again. The hay bale this time Nathan slides over to the right. Joe Smith has a post. Please like and share this match, all your friends and family. Stand for Paddington. Thirty-six in the ball before his first mark here in the first. Smith, good ball. Won't carry to the seven and ten. 
Hey, buddy. Get lurched in the house here. Yeah, How you doing? Smith gets a nine. 36 through four. 147, 139. Two marks to none in favor of Team USA. Tim Hazer on a strike. Bang! Double strike! Wow! What a start! Spare strike, strike. 50 buck bonus pass. And a strike to match the Jay Simino. 34 plus 2, second mark. Hazard on the double strike, just four in that first one. 44 through two, now 54 on a ball through three. Simino trying to get a double strike of his own. Looks good, but two full. Breaks of the check mark, has the three in the middle, seven left, ten right. Hazard, 60 second strike blocks. Sixteen from three. Simino. Oh, what a try! The ball right in front of the seven won't go. Nine in the strike. Forty-three through three. Hazer is seven. Would like to got more of us that double strike bill. Sixty-seven through four. Nothing wrong with that. Ten for Simino. Fifty-three through four. We're tied. One seventy-six. One seventy-six. Early the first of three. First of three matches on Camp Bowling Network. Let's go. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., we start the quarterfinals, then the semifinals. Ali Chet with Frank DeLuca, Kyle Bruce, Jordan Britton, Corey Lisi, Brendan O'Dowd. We'll have the controls for the final match. Jason Gauthier, Jr., JV, number four in average coming in. That's a nine block, six pin to the right. Jim Jalbert spins that pin. He's got a strike. Third strike for the team. 28 above, plus two through three. JV is spare. Production, Jim Jalbert, 34 plus two. JV, 28 in the ball, three. So Jalbert, spare, four, 10, strike. 34 plus 2 to 3. Oh, Pick us up here. Let's go. Tim's average 121. Career best 123. Oh, yeah. I see 183. JV only 3. 31 to 3. Jalbert first in the strike. Oh, I got a break. Oh, what a gift that was. Wow. A little tremor. Breaks up the 2 4 7. That's the 10. JB, good ball. He's at the ball with discount. The final 10. Joe has got a great chance this one for a sparing strike. And he has it. 44 through 3, 54 and a ball through 4. JB. Oh, we got a beautiful shot. 41 of the ball through 4. 206, 199. Fenway Academy up seven right now. One spare for Fenway. One spare, one strike. For Team USA. Jeff Walsh is working the best strike right now. On lane 36, here in April. Jeff's high single, 194. Goes left. Has a wobbling one, three, seven, and eight left in the back. Brian Kroll in the pocket. Strike! 27 plus two for three. What a strike so far. Five strikes, six strikes combined. Three for each side, three double. Walsh is there. 
Bear on strike. 28 through 2, 38 the ball through 3. Wow! Walsh on the bonus. 9, 10, strike! Strike, spare, strike! 28 through 3, 58 plus 2 through 4. Crow on a strike, 6. Boys come up for 1, 2, 4, 7. All right, the 123 league bowler looking for a sparing strike. Got three of the four. 36 to three. It's a nine. 45 through four. Four boxes down. It's 239, 234. Team USA playing spoiler early on. They've got a spare to strike on the board. Fenway Academy has just one spare. We're back to the top of the order. Jason, you said guns. 46 to 4. As a diamond. 27% success rate for diamonds for Pro Bowlers that would. Stats provided by U.S. Lewis Poppins, Candleton, Candleton Bowling Network. Sean Sears goes left, perhaps three. Guns looking for a second spare, right in the middle. He's up the four to the right, the five to the left. Sears in the pocket, too thin. Has a banana split. He set a nine. 55 half. Shine a one. For a seven. 44 half. You can substitute in the first five boxes here at the Worlds as long as you're not in spare in the fifth box. They're sticking with Shine. This team's up three right now. He said, right down the middle, a two four split. Sears, half plus the right. Jason's high single, 189. High triple, 438. On the object pin, only got two. That's the two, four, nine, and ten. <laughs> High single, 178, high triple, 427. Archie Vip him too, nothing to show for it. Just set, 7. 62 through 6 in the first of three strings, in the first of three matches on Channel Pit Bowling Network. Sears a 7, 51 through 6 open so far. 253, 253 pin lead for Team USA in the white. Joe Smith, 36 through 4. On the head pin, 7. He's got the right triangle, the 6, the 9, and the 10. Piece of wood. Try to go around that, maybe. We the tip right. Kevin Paddington goes left again. It's 5. Smith for a spare. Couldn't get it to go. Nine pins and greens. Catch. Good second ball. It's a triangle in the center. Five, eight, nine. Smith to ten. Forty-six half. Joe's high single two oh nine. Kevin Ty single, 196. He gets an eight. Got that spare five, 41 through four, 49 half. So one strike for Kevin's team, one spare for Joe's team. 266, 260 in favor of Team USA here in the first. That's a split again. 276 to the right. Patches again. 
Can't find the head pin. That's the hay bale. Nice offer. Not accepted. Thirty-one percent chance for Pro Bowl if I went for Haybales. That's by Pimp Bowl Network. You can't can't find the head pin. At the nine. 55 to 6. 10 that time. Kevin, 59 to 6. Jay Simmons of Fenway Academy in the right. Tim Hayes Hazard. On the left, you got a double strike in the second and third box. He's at 67 through 4. Jay, 53 through 4. Lucky strike in the other division. Only one string they've lost so far. There get the first round by. Locked up. Bring in Bob Lee. Oh, well, nice to say. Tim Hazer coming in in uh, number 31 on the for the conference at a 116 average. And, uh, Jay Simino is the number 50 bowler so far through nine at one, 113 and a half. Let's run it up to 114. Thanks, probably. What a Western Dykes for Hazer. Jay with the one, two, seven, chance for a spare. Can you pick it up? No. Good second ball by Hayes. That's a six and ten. Seven on nice ten. Sixty-three half. Matching ten for Hayes. Tim Hayes at seventy-seven half. Double strikes help. Had to fill up four and six on those, then seven blocks and lower the score. Jay Simino, high single, 180. High triple, 451. In the pocket, looks good, but look at this. You're going to be kidding me. Hayes in the pocket, eight. That's the two and the four. For Jay Simino, lane 36, the six, nine to the right, the seven, eight to the left. Try to use that wood box spinner out. He's going to go for the two instead. Try to bolt. Hazer splits the upright spare. Fourth mark of the string. 87 of ball through six. Some of the nice pinning at 10. Here at 10, 73 through six. Team USA has the lead by seven. A spare and a strike for them. One spare only. The film Academy coming up right now from Jim Jalbert. Jim's high single 183, high triple 465. Got Academy Lanes here. April Mass. Got a World Tournament. In the pocket, nine on the bonus. 63 through four. For another one, not this time. Jim B. Jason Gothier Jr. for a spare. Just missed. Jalbert, Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third. 10, 73 half. Jason got the junior single, high single 179, high triple 444. Jalbert goes to the left, has the force from right to 1, 3, 6, 10. Goes to about 36% of the time. The four balls have one. JB on the head, paying strike. Second mark of the string, 61 plus 2 through 6. Jalbert on the nose, two full. He's up to 3, 6, 10. Job at a nine. 82 through six. Anchor ball is Brian Crow on the right for Fenway Academy. 45 through four. Steve Walsh, a strike, spare strike. Working one right now on lane 35. 58 plus two. 
The World Tournament continues live on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Another match at 12. And after that match, shortly after that, around 3.30 or so, we'll have the opening round of the playoffs. Right here to you on your home for all things Kenneth and Bowling. Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube. Ryan Crawl, 35 miles an hour on the head pin. Four, seven, left, six to the right. Steve Walsh working a big strike here, lane 35. And gets an help back door, seven, triangle to six, nine, ten. Three pieces of wood to help. Team USA down by one right now, box to box, but they've got two marks, three marks in their favor. They've got the lead now with this fill. Roll. Try to go one to two. Wouldn't go. Jeff Walsh. From the mark. He's got it. Strike, spare, strike, spare. Wow. 68 through four, 78 half plus one. Roll at 10. 55 half. Jeff Walsh on a mission here in the first. His high triple is 445. Ryan's high triple, 478. Been on the pro ball and still mass for years. 35 miles an hour again, head pin, nine. Just a three pin left up. Jeff Walsh working his fourth mark in a row. He gets seven, has the three, five, and the ten. 85 half. That's good. He's doing better. He's a 112 bowler so far through the first nine games of the series. Brian Kroll came in uh, with a 117. Actually, a 118 rounds up. And Brian with a spare. 65 and 12 through 6, second mark. Walsh, five spares in a row. Wild start. 95 and a ball through 6. Outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. That's my boy. We got Dad Walsh here. Come over here. We'll go to the top of the order. Paul Grant Bob Lee with you live on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Back to the top of the order, Sean Sears. What a shot for straight. His first mark, 61 plus 2 through 7. Jason said it's a triangle, a diamond rather, a diamond shot. Jeff Walsh has brought this here. Tell us your name. My name is Jim Walsh. And tell us about your son. Well, he's been bowling for quite a while. He's, I used to be better than him, but he's gotten much better than I am now. But uh, I'm an old man, so. Oh, he stole it. Oh, what a gift. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Jason Doucette a spare. His second mark, 72 in the ball through seven. Anyway, they fall. So in your prime, were you a better bowl than he was? Uh, no. My, my best years were, were, my averages were like 110, 115. He's been close to 120 average, so. No, I, I was never as good as him, but I never bowled as much as he did either. Sean Sears, working a strike, has the force from right to one, three, six, ten. He said on the spare, only five. Make it six, maybe. Make him a nine, five and a half. Five is the official score on the spare. 77 to seven. Second strike ball for Sears. Looks good, he's got it, spare on strike. 71 through 7, 81 plus 2 through 8. Oh, what a try. You said it just a little bit short there. And he gets a 9. 86 through 8. Team USA is up 22. And they've got three marks to two in their favor. All right, tell the folks again your name. And My name is Jim Walsh. I'm, my, my son is Jeff Walsh. He's having quite a good start so far this morning. Now, did you bowl in the days of wooden pins? No, I did not. <laughs> not trying, I'm, I'm not trying to age you. I, I'm not that old, no. <laughs> I'm only 64, so I'm I not, know, I'm, I'm just messing with you. Okay. But yeah, Jeff Bowles here out of Academy on, on Tuesday nights. And he bowls for the Riverwalk team on Friday nights in the Pro League. They're a good team. A lot of talent. Rock Richie for Brian yep. Fuller Jr. Keith Wilprin is a good bowler. 
not on their team, but yeah. both the other Riverwalk team at yeah. Lafayette Lanes. It's great to see your son in person here. Yeah, it is. I mean, I live in Florida now, so I come up here for just for this week so I could uh, hang with him and watch him bowl. That's awesome. Are you subscribed to the Kenlip and Bowling Network? I'm going to. I All haven't right. yet. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. All right. Great to have you. You're welcome. Glad to have you. Thank you. Always a treasure talking to our fans and viewers on Kenneth Bowl and Everett. That's why you got to like and subscribe. Watch countless hours, hundreds of videos on Kenneth Bowl and Everett. Share and like so all your friends can see it also. With relatives, get them excited about the great game of Kenneth Bowling and get them Kenneth gift cards this holiday season. Help invigorate the sport. Badger 10 just got a 9, 68 through 7. Show Smith a 10, 65 through 7. Badger 10 to 1, 2, and the 7. Smith goes left. Hay bale plus the seven. Good offer. Got it. Nice shot. 78 of all through seven for Badge. Second through eight, that is. 78 through eight. Second mark of the string. Smith's open with a 179. Give him a 50 penalty. Nine for Smith. Shows at 74 through 8. Team USA definitely playing spoiler here today. 402 to 380, a 22 pin lead. They've got four marks on the board to one. Five, five, I'm sorry, five. All five balls to mark. Thanks, bud. Keep my eyes and ears open. Five marks to one. Each ball over the mark. Can we catch me? It's a big push here. Winding down here on the first. Tim Hazer on a spear. It's a break. It's eight. That's the one and three. 95 through six. Jay Simino. Nine. Three pin left up. Fred Hunt, the Kennel Pencil Kids, the qualifying round at Portsmouth, New Hampshire recently. It was 683, number 3C. And a spare for Hayes again, back to back. 105 and a ball through 7. Simino a spare. 83 and a ball through 7. And we can. We need a bunch of marks. Hayes on the bonus looks good. Only seven though. The six nine to the right. The seven to the left. One twelve to seven. Excellent string. Simino goes right. It's the boys to the left. The one two four seven. Eighty nine to seven. Hayes for another one. That wasn't easy. The sixth to the right, the seventh to the left. Yeah. Nice ball, just missed by a speck. Thought he had it. Field over Hazard, 120 to 8 for Team USA. Gentleman shot for a 10 for Simino, 99 to 8. 435, 406, a 29 pin lead for Team USA on the right, in the white. They are going crazy. Four marks to one in their favor. JB, Jason Gauthier Jr., on a strike on lane 36 at the World Tournament Academy Lane, Table Mass. For a double, he gets nine. Just a 10 pin left up. Tim Giaba trying to get his team going. Only five. 82 is first, six having a good string of his own. For another mark, looks good, he's got it. Spin and strike. Jeff, a good try. JB, 71 through 6, 81 on the ball through 7. 
They are pouring it on here in the first. Job of the 10, 92 to 7. Fenway two points behind in the playoffs. Need some points. They're in trouble here in the first. JB on the bonus. And look at that box type. Two cuts there. Jalbert, nice ball, eight. The five and the eight. JB strike, spare strike. Four marks since winning three in a row. One on one plus two through eight. And he missed it to the right. Ouch. Furious himself. Yes, a 10. Not a good time for the Parker and Special. Mr. Second, make the third. So, coming today, come, Academy Lanes, 56 and 16 in this division. Beat Price Wood Flooring, 56 and 16, second. Three some pinfall. Outlaw Rides from Canada, 54 and 18. Bowling Ball Mafia, we'll see you later on, 45 and 27. And MH40 and 32, Come Academy, right behind 38 and 24. And then down here on the first. Take a Jeff Walsh on a spare, 95 to the and 11 drop. <laughs> Tough break. Ninety-six to six. The quarter. Yikes! Gonna be kidding me. Wow. A strike, spare, strike, spare, and a lemon drop, and a quarter Worcester. How about that? Insult to injury. Brian Cole, six in the spare, 71 through six. That's the three and the ten. Walsh for big out. That was his first ball he wanted to get seven. 103 through seven. We ask all the balls to obviously donate one dollar for all lemon drops. The four, the six, the first shot, five dollars on mark. Candle pins number four, cancer.com to donate. Candle pins number four.com to donate. Optional. And all the fans out there watching on Candle Bowl Network, it's a charity based for all the Candle Bowlers that have cancer or chemo radiation therapy treatment. If you donate to Candle Pins number four, cancer.com, it'll help a great cause. Any of us welcome Candle Pins number four, cancer.com. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Ryan Cole, thin head. Breaks up the triangle. Breaks up the three. The whole triangle is broken up. Now it's just a seven. Walsh, a two four split. Got the two. Team USA have 43 right now. So many academies can come back still. They're talented. They probably a double. Ball is spare. Much needed. They're only marking the void. 89 the ball through eight. Jeff Walsh a nine. 112 through eight. Final two boxes. First string. 492, 450, 42 pin lead. Top of the order. Jason, you said. 86 through 8. Sean Sears, after a strike, he's now on a spare on the left for Team USA. 81 on the ball. Guns in the pocket for a strike. Got it. Big strike in the ninth. 96 plus 2. Sears, half blister. 2 fill, 83 through 8. Come Academy needs to make a charge here late. Hey, Paul, down the lanes, we, we hear that the Mass holds two games ahead and on the screen for the viewers, lead by 50 in, the, in game one. That's not good news for Come Academy, who they're chasing. That holds up. They'll put him four points behind. See if going to work out of this. Good offer. It's Nate. 91 through 9. Come Academy down 42. Two marks to one advantage now in their favor. Double step to be from Jason Doucette. In the pocket, let's go! Clutch, double strike! Wow! 
Yes, they need it. Sears crossing over. Carroll, free plus of seven. Big double strike for guns. Jason said at the World Tournament, Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. In pump 125. Huge. Gives him a fighting chance now for two points. Sears, what a try. This high triple, 427. High five, 637. Out of Canal Lanes. It's a 10. 101 first string. 57 second half. Putting a strike in a spare two. Big double strike, Bill, here. Cut that deficit in half or more. A triple strike would be astronomical. It's good. It's got the whip between the three to the right, the five to the 28 in that first strike box. Double strike box. For a spare and double strike, missed it. For nine, the strike. 114 through nine. 133 for the string. What a finish. 47 in the last two. That's pro bowling, folks. Three marks to the string for Jason Doucette from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. And that cuts the lead down to 15. They were down 43 just a moment ago. Kathy did on a spare six. The triangle plus the 10. 84 through 8. They have no marks left. One for Brian Kroll for Fenway Academy. Make it a run. A spare! And here comes Fenway Academy down the stretch. 84 and a ball through 9 for Joe Smith. Patrick's in. What a try! Thrilling finish here at the Worlds. Second to last qualifying round in nine. The Padgett's in. 93 through nine. Here comes the Calvary. 507 for them. 527. Team USA. A 20-pin lead. But two marks to none. KB Jr. is on a strike, though. Two marks to one, rather, I should say. On the field, nine. 93 through nine. Sorry. Smith, this chance. Badge, too close. Then we'll head the uh, object to pin. Two pull, rather. What's the other Smith a nine? 102 first string. Now to 10. 103 first string. Six points to go. 537, 525. Team USA. And the roll of spoilers up 12. They have one strike on the board, one spare on the board for Fenway Academy. They cut the deficit down from 43 or so, down to 12. Both balls open. Kevin Hazard, 120 through 8. Jay Simino, 99 through 8 on the right. Head pin, reverse triangle. Hazard off to left three. Momentum all on Fenway Academy's side. Team USA has led pretty much all the way through. Give or take early on. Christy Billy missed it left. Two missed chances in a row for them. Hazard leads up the one and the seven. A single pin of the piece of wood for a potential spare down the drain for Fenway. And didn't go anyway, but a nine. The field goal for Hazen eight. He's at 128 through eight. Jason Simino, 108 through nine. It trims the lead down to nine to make it 11. 545, 534. Team USA on the left with the white shirts up 11. 
One rock apiece. Simino, nice ball again. Nine. Ten, maybe. Wood come. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Nine and nine tenths down. How do they not go? Where's the Havel frame? You need it. Bundle of six. It is. Huge spare chance here. Can he get it? He does. One eighteen is on the tenth for Simino. Hayes open with the head pin. The walk is bad. The wood head save, but it won't go. Wow. Unbelievable. A break with Fenway there. And the plot thickens here down the stretch of the Academy Lanes. 10, 138 for Jim Hazley. What a string. Final four blocks are the first of three strings on Kenilfin Bowling Network. Two matches after this, including the opening round. Playoffs. Playoffs. Tim Kelvin, 102. Wade is open. Come up next to six. For Simino, 124. It's a five pin lead for Team USA. Up in the mid 40s, it's down to five. JB, chasing out the chin to the left, is on a strike though for Team USA. Anchor ball of Brian Kroll, Fenway up next on a spare. Five pin lead. Thrilling finish here at the World Tournament. Off to the right, got a break. The one, two, and the four. Three printers go 51% of the time for Pro Bowls. That would. Stats provided by Canopin Bowling Network, your home for all things Canopin. 3 7 10 for Gothia for a spare. Up the wall. Look, go. Hit it. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Three shots we've seen that haven't gone. That got hit. JB for the bid. That won't go. Some great second shot, just not falling. How close did you get? A nine, 111 through nine. Got here a nine to match. Five pin lead, he's at 119. He has strike nine and nine and a nine. So the lead is now 14 with that fill. A spare though for Memory Academy still. They're down 14, three boxes to go. Need at least one mark to catch up. Galbert, half Wister, ouch. Oh, I hate that shot. JB, got a break, steals eight. That's the one of the two. Jim Galbert's high triple, 465, high five, 721 from Haverhill, Mass. And he gets the one and the nine left up. JB for spare, got it! Big spare on the 10th for Team USA. 129 of the ball, trying to hang on. For the first two points, a tie is one point. Total is two. What a thrilling string, Bob. <laughs> Unbelievable. Get a look. You got a lot of for bowling, folks. Unbelievable left by both the sides. Mr. Print 8, 119, Jim Jalbert. Anchor ball is coming up. Brian Kroll working a crucial spare fill. The lead is 573. Is that right? That's not right. Maybe some spare. I got a spare. With the spare fill. Bounces it. Got a break. Still eight. What a gift that was. 137. Lead all scores so far. 137 for Jason Gautier Jr. 591, 567. They lead by 24. Brian Crowell's on a spare, though. He needs two marks also. Maybe a double. Clutch down the stretch for JV. Get over,
Kroll on a bonus. He's a strike. You know, he gets six. That tough split. 2.7 to six to the right. 95 to eight. He's down 18. Ball's only three. Ryan might need a double. Jeff Walsh with a high five of 707. Kroll needs it. No. Needs a double. Walsh. Open. At least Finway's in strike gives us the total if they lose the strain. Ryan to 10. 105 to 9. Jeff Walsh, a 9 to Mac. A 9, rather. 121 to 9. One box to go. 600 to 583. What a string. Ryan needs a double. That looks good. That's the string. Team USA hangs on at a 43 plus pin lead. They cut down to five. And they hang on to take the first two points, playing spoiler. And Fenway now four points out of the playoffs now. With MH moving ahead. Win that first string. Crushing glove. They can still come back to get the next two strings in total. Help their cause. Ryan won't go. Walsh, he's up the eight and nine. Ball of 10, 115 first straight. Fury's come back, great effort, just fell short. Jeff Walsh, a nine of 130 first string. 609 to 593. Team USA wins it by 16. Two more strings to go at the World Tournament from Academy Lane's Table Mass. I'm on probably Paul Grimm, you live. On Candlepin Bowling Network, your home for all things Candlepin. Please subscribe, free, like, and share. So you can see up to date all great action all the time, all year round, on Candlepin Bowling Network. Your home for all things Candlepin Bowling. We'll bring up Bob Lee just a minute for a recap. What a spring, Bob, huh? Yeah, that was that was a big win. Um, with the with 593, Fenway was well above its its, lead, its season average, which was 570. But they ran into you know, Team USA with that six, 609. You know, one of the one of the games of the year, uh, huge game, 138, 137, 130 from the final three bowlers, and they're off in Sean Sears on his second ball on a Kaliri. He got he got, got it. it. What a shot! A spare to start the second. And Jason you said a whole 4 2 split. Team USA wins the first by 16. He said, nice out. Oh, that was awesome. A nine. Really, first string finish here at the World Tournament. Sean Sears working his spare in lane 36 at Academy Lanes, the biggest house in the world. Oh, one with club 125. In the pocket for a strike, it's nine. Eight pin left up. 19 through one, he said. In the pocket, six. Half was to left, the two eight, the five to the right, one piece of wood, ten right corner. Sears for another one. He's got it. 29 of the ball through two and string number two of three. Good offer. But he's set. He's open with a two eight. He gets eight. 17 through two. 12 pin lead this string. 18 the match, plus a bonus ball for Team USA. They're officially eliminated from playoff contention, but they have shown a lot of pride. All the bowlers giving their best, a lot of the effort. One team had no substitutions, five only. Keep on Valley Lanes, they're doing their darndest. Hang in there. Kevin Padgett's in the nine drop. 
Joe Smith has a triangle. Two, four, and the five. Forty-five percent success. Maybe triangles without wood. Stats by Kim from Bowling Network. For Pro Bowlers without wood. Joe's high single 209, high triple 456, high five 695. The Bachelor knew it right away. High piece of wood is very difficult. Wanted to go right. The Smith can't get the triangle to go. Wide right for left. Nine to start. This second string. Joe Smith a nine also. Kevin's high single 196, high triple 484, high five 749, high 10 1399. Going for 30 years plus. Starting the kids league at age 10. In the pocket, he's got six. Two five in the middle, seven ten corner post. Smith breaks the triangle, breaks up another one. Tough split there. Imagine he missed everything. Smith, the three and the seven. At 30 miles an hour, just missed it right. Pass here, 36 miles an hour. What a try! Right behind the seven. So close. All that for nine. 18 through two. And nine for Smith. Same thing. Pair of nines. 18 through two. 47-35, Team USA up by 12 on the string, 18 in the match. Plus a bonus ball for Sean Sears, the lead-up bowler. Tim Hayes coming up a 138 string. Red Hot in the first hit, scores a 138, 137, and 130 for the third, fourth, and the fifth bowlers. Jason Griffith Jr. and Jeff Walsh. Along with Hayes. Ace nine. Chase Simino half whisper. Hazer at spare. Ten of the ball to start a second string. Our first of three matches today, including the opening round playoffs. Later on this afternoon, on Canada from Bowling Never. Please like and share as well. Get notified and tell your friends to watch this great game of Kenneth and Bowling. Okay, we'll go for the short two at the 1 6 10. 180 high single, high triple 451, high five of 719. Gets a nine. Tim Hayes again the other night. You can watch it on Kenneth and Bowling Never. Came in second place, runner up to Chris Merrill in the ICC singles knockout here at the Worlds on Monday. Hayes are only two. 12 through one. Not happy with that shot. Crossing over is Simino. Got a break. He's got the three to the right, the five to the left. Two pitches convert. 51% of the time for Pro Bowlers that would. Your stats are provided, as always, by Canada Bowling Network. For a spare, no. Ace a 10, 22 through 2. Albert, or someone rather, 10, 22 through 2. Simino, 9, 9, 10, 19 through 2. Hazard, spare 2, 10, 22 through 2. Jason Gavia Jr., clutch down the stretch, 137 first string. Starts up at second on lane 36 at the World Tournament at Academy Lanes, Gabriel Mass. Tim Jopper on left, Fenway Academy. Lost the first by 16. 
Down by 15 here in the second so far. Rocky with three. Shelvin with seven. One, eight, nine. Okay. Okay. A great comeback in that first play. Kemi Kemi just fell short as JB is open with a 3, 5, and 10. Galbert, oh, good try. Thought he had it. Great offer. JB chops out one. Grenade. Field goal for Jalbert to match. 77-62, Team USA. A 15 in the string, 21 in the match. They have a 31 match, by mistake, 31 in the match. Oh, was it 60? My mistake, Bob. What's the score in that first one again? 16, was it? Yeah, so it was 16. Sorry. My mistake. The one by 16. I had it right. I just said it wrong. What else is new? 609, 593. 1, Team USA. JB's not helping after that shot. Jalbert. Oh, what a shot! For a 10. 18 through 2. JB just 15 through 2. Lineup stay the same. You can substitute the first five boxes. As long as you're not rocking that fifth box in the World Tournament. Jeff Paul Shank will have 130 in that first string. Put together a strike spear, strike spear combination. And on the right for Team USA. Brian Cole, 115 is first string on the left at Fenway Academy. Ball, 34 miles an hour. Spread Eagle, plus to nine. Ball for strike, nine. Eight pin left up. Single pins convert 72% of the time to Pro Bowls of Woods. That's by Kenneth Bowen Network. Ball, at 35 miles an hour, threw it away. All right, steady 34 miles an hour. Missed it. Walsh, tough five to start the second. Find the ball grand special, missed the second, make the third for a 10. 89-82, Team USA up seven in the string. Twenty-three in the match. Walsh, nice ball there, eight to six ten. Bull has the post. Picks up. A spare. Nice comeback from that five blocks. Would you have oh, Ryan on the headpin again. Won't carry. That's the two and the ten. And Brian with a nine, 19 through two, through two boxes in the second string, 99-91. Team, Team USA up eight in the string, 24 in the match. Bring in Bob Lee. What a thrilling finish in that first string, Bob. A furious comeback by Fenway. Almost pulled it out, got down to five, down in the mid 40s. Right, but now it's time for Fenway to get back to business. As, as exciting as that is, their life is on the line. They're they're down four games to the mass holes over there on lanes uh, lanes 20. <laughs> I think it's on 24 uh, and 25. I'll be I'll be giving you updates for that throughout the card. Okay. All right. Back to live action. Thanks, Bob Lee. Chase, you said back to the top of the order. Sean Sears a spear nine and a spear here now. Lane 35. Right down the middle. Three. A full size shot. Nothing to show for it. 32 for two. Two sets open with the two and the ten. It's high single 189, high triple 438. Brunswick Lanes. Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Rip 
originally. It's Nate. In a seven for Sears. Sears 39 to 3. Guns. Jason you said 25 to 3. Nice ball. Look at this. The 6 7. No wood, no luck. Sears has the force from right for 1, 3, 6, 10. Good offer. Goes in between for 1 to 10. He set the pinning of 10, 35 to 4. Second string of 3 at the World Tournament. Nice 10 for Sears. 49 through 4. Team USA up by 10 in the string. Twenty-six the match. Joe Smith, Kevin Paddington, both 18 through 2, half whisper. It's good. Padge, goes right, parallel pins plus to 9. Smith off of the 1 to 7. Padge, only got the 8-9. And nudge the head pin, the gentleman shot, I call it. Three nines for Joe Smith, 27 to 3. Here in the second. Padge for the nine. Kevin Padge two. Also three nines. Playing poker here so far. Here in the second. Joe's high triple along with his high single 209. High triple 456. High five 695. Made four television appearances in the past. Paddington on the head bin. Can't break up the split. Four on the left, six, ten to the right. Smith, good try. Got the triangle. Now it's the four seven. Paddington's open. And ten for Smith. Thirty seven through four. Paddington, 9, 36 through 4, 137, 128, 9 pin lead for Team USA in the spring. They won the first by 16, up here in the second, Fenway needs points. They really need to win the next two strings and take total to help their cause. They're four points behind now for the playoffs after losing their first in MH, winning their first. Jason Simino has the 5 7 10. He's got wood to help. Tim Hazard, 1 2 4 9. Attraction 8. 1 2 4 8. Simino, good try. Extremely difficult shot. Great effort. Hazer just missed the head pin. Here's 10, Simino. 29 through 3. Hayes, 10, 32 through 3. Tim Hazer, Chicopee Mass, high single 191. High triple 445. Has a high five of 683. Goes out of Canal Lane, Southampton, Massachusetts. Nagawan Bowl in Agawan, Mass. Group of the old fun time lanes in Holyoke, Mass. Near Springfield. That's a good ball. They have a Simino. A tough split. 5, 8, and 10. Hayes. Another split. Wobbly 2 and 4. 7 left. 6 right. Try to kick it over somehow. Only got one. Stuck with the roller discount. Bowl roller of the chain. Five and ten. Back when things were five and ten cents. 
Oh, what a try right in front of the six. What an effort by Hayes. J and 9, 38 through 4. Good bidding, no marks though. Hayes with 9, 41 through 4. Slow scoring to start the second. A lot of marks in the first. Only one mark on the board for Team USA, none for Fenway Academy. Tim Jell with 18 through 2 for Fenway Academy on the right. JB, Jason got the team on the left. Only 15 through 2. Team USA up by 9 this spring. 25 in the match. Albert, one, two, seven, woods of Austin Hill. JV, not an head pin. He's got wood help, maybe. Six, ten right, seven left. Jim Albert, high single again, 183, high triple, 465. And he gets the spare. 28 the ball through three, the second of three at the World Tournament at Academy Lanes, Haver, Massachusetts. JV, what a try. Right by the seven, the ball couldn't get there. Tim's high, 5, 7, 21, high, 10, 13, 08. These are his home lanes, Academy Lanes. The biggest house in the world, now with Pub 125, with 44 lanes. 10 for JB, 25 to 3. No substitutions yet for either side. Great first swing, great finish. Team USA hanging on, go by 16. Galbert, 7 to fill, break with a 1, 2, 4. 35 through 3. Down 2 in the string. Minus the ball, though. The anchor ball, Jeff Walsh for Team USA. On the other side. Missed it right. JB, check mark. Here it goes. What's there? Tough 7. Spare 7. 7 box, 42 through 4. JB gains three with a 10. 35 through four. 176, 171. Team USA up by a handful. 21 of the match. Jeff Walsh with Ads that lead the only mark on either side right now. The white shirt on lane 35. At a five and a spare. Double strike, actually, two strikes, two spares combined. In a four box swing in the first ring. Ryan off to the left has the clearing. Josh on the bonus gets eight. Great chance for another spare. He's kept a six and ten. 23 through two in string number two of three. Troll on that pin. Yank might get the ten. Walsh. Oh. That's why they only go just over 50% of the time. It looks so simple. Ball of 10. Sharp shooter, Brian Cole, 29 to 3. 9 to Walsh. Jeff's at 32 to 3. Jeff's team up 12 in the string. 28 in the match. Another regular match after this. Our Kenneth Mullen Network can be set our. Opening up playoffs later on this afternoon, around 3.30 or so. Roll, rush nine. Two people left up. Walsh, half Winston. Roll, for spare, right on it. Perfect shot. 39 the ball through four, and Jeff Walsh, a Paul Grant shot right in the hole. Oh, I hate that show. He's either punched out the one eight up that or the one nine, and then up in the hole. And that's what I mean. It's a five. He's got two five watches. 37 through four. Yikes. That's good news for Fenway Academy down seven in the string. Fenway Academy down seven in the string. 23 in the match. Back to the top of the order. Sean Sears on the right. 
Kinski set on the left. Sears catch three. See with that test slide. Chase parents Devin involved in Kenneth Wallen, and Dirk Gumbert. Sean Sears, same thing. That's why Kenneth and gift cards are a great way to get people bowling this holiday season all year round. Gets people in the bowling centers. Maybe they'll join the league, get in tournaments, help to spoil your local bowling center this holiday season all year round. Kenneth and gift cards, the gift that keeps on giving. It's an excellent stocking stuffer, too. Sears, tough luck here. He's got the 1 5 center Worcester, 4 7 and the 10. Good luck on this one. But made the best of it, Kaye. Not bad. 57 half. 9 for set. 44 half. The World Tournament on Canada Bowling Network. Please like and share the stream. Get as many people as possible to see how exciting the sport is and challenging and fun. A sport for all ages. Both balls, tough leaves. Haydale plus the eight. The Sears. The set with a bundle of six. Nice offer. He's up the eight and ten. Sean Ball for 31 years. Carol pins for set. Strike at least one. He does for nine. 66 through six. Oh, nice out there. Nine. For guns. Jason Bissett, 53 through six. Team USA hanging on to a thin lead. Six. The match is tight at 22. In spring number two. Our next scheduled broadcast is Able Construction of Canada. They have four points out of the playoffs coming in this batch. Taking on Bowling Ball Mafia. Good. Coming to this match in this division is in fourth place. So a play of implications for both teams. And look at this lead. Both ugly leads. Smith chops up the object pin. Funny game. Object pin, nothing to show for it. And Paddington, a brutal five. Three five boxes in the team this half. String. And a seven. That's a gainer for Joe Smith. 44 half. Badger, 41 half. The pinch exploded in the first. They're dead so far here in the second. On the head pin, he's got two one split. He's got the four to the left, the six ten to the right. He's being sweep that wood over. Joe Smith, beautiful ball in the pocket. Eight. What's coming back for more? Maybe. Holds up. He's got a roadblock in front of the four and seven. Can I kick it over? Oh, what a try! So close, right beyond the six and ten. Didn't miss by much. Smith for a spin. No, the wood circled around, spun away. Two great shots by two outstanding bowlers. Badge a ten. Smith a ten. Fifty-four for Joe. Fifty-one for Kevin. <laughs> 230, 226, a four pin lead for Team USA of the Fenway Academy. They're up 20 in the match. It's been awesome all morning long. It's just our first of three matches today, including the opening round playoffs later on this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., quarterfinal action on Camp Bowling Network in semifinals. Ali Chaplin playing the range over to them for the finals for afternoon. There's a good ball there, nine. Kevin Hazer has the seventh pin. Chase 
Simino looking for a big ball of his own. Just off the left. That's the four horsemen right to one, three, six, ten. For a spare. Got it. Who needs the wood? 51 half plus a ball. Second spare of the string. Page. Simino on the head pin. Got the one and ten only. We'll go a little more inside to carry that. Not easy. He's up the three and six. Jason's home lane, Sleeta Lanes, Nash, New Hampshire, home of last year's U.S. Invitational, and always your home for the Easter Classic. Won the last two years by Chris Merrill. Won the singles knockout here Monday at the ICC Championships. Tip is Simino, 48 half. Four pin lead for Team USA in the spring. Plus six. Six in the spare for Hayes. 57 half. You're up 10. Simino has the hay bale. Pack of five. Oh, what a shot for spare. Wow. Back to back spares. What a shot. 67 of all through six. Spare chance missed. Simino. Ten. Fifty-eight to six. Two fifty-six, two forty-six. Team USA up ten in the street. They have one spare on the board. One spare for Fenway Academy for Brian Kroll, the ranker. For first is the fourth bowlers. JB on the right for Team USA. Son of Jason Gauthier Sr. Just retired recently. Head of the bowling. Last bowled the ISBA Championships at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine last month. Watch those on Kenneth Bowling Network. JB the 3 9, the 6 to the right. He's the in between. He's there. He's got it. 45 half plus one. Job with the 1 2 7. We'll go. Couldn't get the head pin. Hit over the nine. Fifty one half for Tim Jalbert. That's an outstanding job of the youth league here at Academy Lanes every Saturday morning. Tons of coaches, Josh Daly. A whole bunch of great bowlers helping out for our youth. Ted DeBurro, Josh DeBurro do a great job here running Academy Lanes. Now above 125. JV six in the spare. 51 half. A check mark plus the seven to Jalbert. JV for another one. Looks good. We get the seven. Difficult shot. Almost pulled it off. Trying to kick it over. Just missed the object pin. Almost pulled it off still. JB at 10. 61 through 6 here in the second. 9 for Calvary. 60 through 6. Team USA has leading the string and the match. They're up 18 in the string right now. 34 in the match. Ryan Cole on a spare though on the left at Fenway Academy. One spare for each side. Walsh, crossing over to Diamond. 27% success rate for pro balls that were on Diamonds. Stats provided by Canopy Bowling Network. Brian Cole on the bonus. Half Worcester. Two in the fill. 41 through four. Walsh couldn't convert. It looks so simple. Six pin left up. Brian grabs five. Eight in the back left. Six ten to the right. Walsh at 10. 47 half.
Find the short shoot. Does for nine. Fifty half. Strange start from Jeff Wall. Should have one thirty in the first. Start the second with a five, a spare eight, a nine, then another five box. Now it's in. He's on lane thirty six here at the World Tournament. At thirty four miles an hour. The only four. Brian Kroll in the pocket. Both post 710. Seen a lot of those this week. Walsh at 32 miles an hour. Tough leave here. Brian from Stowe, Massachusetts. Trying to kick it over. What a try. 35 miles an hour. Walsh a 9, Brian a 10, Brian 60 through 6, Jeff 56 through 6. A very low scoring affair here in the second. Back to the top, we go to Paul Grant Bobley with you live on Kemp and Bowl Network. Where all our viewers to please like, share, and subscribe. I'll support this great game of Kemp and Bowling. And by sharing it, other people get excited about the sport. Please consider Kemp and gift cards again this holiday season and all year round. A way to get them in this great game of Kemp and Bowling. Encourage you to join a league and expand this thriving sport. Back to top field, Jason Doucette. Trying to push that eight down, but it won't go. Ten in the right corner. Sean Sears. He's got the head pin. The three pin can't make his mind. Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I stay up? Do I fall? It stays. The 6'10. He sets open. For a spare, no. Yes, Bob. Back to, hey, back to Bob Lee. A few viewers have been noticing. They, they can see the Academy Lanes team bowling on our left. They're the first place team right now. They actually lost their first game to Abel and trailed in the second by 20. Um, the, the, the team in green on, on the left on your screen, just just for those who are watching. And we're going to see Abel Construction next. Yeah, Abel Construction is right behind yeah, Fenway. Four behind coming in. So they, they have now caught Fenway and they lead in their second game. Thanks, Bob Lee, for the update. Always oh, doing a great job behind the scenes. Can't do this stuff, Bob Lee. Jason has a chance at two pieces of wood for three, six, ten. The nine sleeping behind the three pen. Ten box that last box for Sears, 76 through 7. Jason was 63 through 7 at 10. And he missed the octave pen. Has the three pin left up. Unusually low score. Nobody's above the minimum for six boxes. Film Academy. Two at the minimum, three below. Obviously that. Real bowling. Oh, what a shot for Sears. Couldn't quite get the 10. 7 of 10. 73 through 8. Sears, 10, 86 to 8. It's been a long week. A lot of bowling, a lot of miles on their treads. Same thing for Team USA. Not a lot. But minimum. Here's a strike bit for Smith. Joe gets nine. Two piece of wood hanging on. Deck. One rolling away. That's good news. Kevin Paddington, off to the right. Ten goals, now it's the hay bale, pack of five, still good to help. For a spare, got it. 60 point of all through seven. For a spare, Paddington, he gets it. Matching spares. 61 of the ball for seven. 60 point of ball for Smith. A 200 is very rare in Canada bowling. Joe Smith has a 209 for a high single. On the bonus, seven. Great piece of wood. The five to the left, the three nine to the right. Paddington, nice ball there. He's got eight. Still wooden in front of the two and the four. 69 through 7, 71 through 7. Another spare for Smith. 
Eighty one of the ball through eight. For Spear, he's got one. They both get two Spears each. They start to come alive here in the second. It's been a slumber so far in the scoring. Been a pitcher's duel so far. There's a home run derby, you could say, in the first. Seventeen pin lead for two USA in the string. They're up thirty-three in the match. They won the first, six oh nine to five ninety-three, had a forty plus pin lead. Then we cut the five late, but they held on to win it. Chase Simino has the two seven ten. We see this quite a bit actually this week. Hayes it on the spare. Nine. Tim Hazard, 76 through 6. High score on the first string of the 138. Three teammates in the 130 for their team. Simino just missed to the left. Hazard for another one. Missed it. Okay, trying to grab the two pin here at least. He does for nine. 67-7. Hayes for 10. All grand specialist the second make the third. 86-7. His team, Team USA, on Veterans Day. 368-341. The lead is 27 in the spring. They won the first by 16. Jay Simino from Merrimack, New Hampshire. Great chance here with a three and the five. Hayes there for a nine drop. Jason Bull for over 34 years as far as they got him involved. Two time New Hampshire doubles championship winner. In the past, he's got a spare. Pinning really well, his first mark of the string. 77 the ball, and Hayes missed again. Two single pins. That could be a difference. The row he's missed. And once again, just don't watch my videos. Miss the second, make the third. A pair of tens. Two missed single shots. Not happy about that. 96 to 8. This team is up 27 in the string for Team USA. Playing spoiler against Fenway Academy. Tim Jalbert, 626, had a spare seven in the third. JV, Jason Gauthier Jr. Had a spare six in the fifth. He's at 61 through six. Fastball six. One, three, nine, and ten. JB, the bundle of six. Great match all morning long. Another one after this, and the playoffs start after that. All in Kenneth Mowing Network. 42 miles an hour. Missed it. JB. Good effort, but went right behind the kingpin. Nine. JB at 36 miles an hour. 10, 71 through 7. Galbert, 69 through 7. Can we again be trailing in the string? Like 28. Four points got to the playoffs right now. Eight's up there, the 8 10 split. JB, a strike, big it's nine. Just a six pin left of again. 68 to 72 percent is the range. The single pinch for Pro Bowl is that wood. Stats provided by Joe Hunt for all things Kenneth and Bowling. Kenneth and Bowling Network. Here he's a spark. He joined it. You'll be kidding me. JB, right on it. Spare. 81 of the ball through eight. Nine for Jalbert. 78 through eight. Team USA will not go away. Hank the ball is Jeff Walsh left. Ryan Cole on the right. One spare at the side for Team USA. Two spares for Fenway Academy. Both goals open here. 
Second swing is winding down. Ryan Cole, the veteran, in the head pin, five, six. Walsh in the pocket, two full. Triangle left, the four, seven, eight. To the right is the three and the six. Ryan for a spare bit, missed the right. It's the two, seven, and eight. Jeff got to go two and a three, got one. Now it's over the three. Cole, nice out, Chen. Very steady ball over the years. Ryan Cole, nice guy on the planes. 77 to 150 in the first. Ball, nice out of nine. 65 to seven. 130 in that first ring. Very explosive bowler. Close to the Friday Night Pro League for Riverwalk Lane. It's Mark Ricky's house. Amesbury, Massachusetts. Great ball. Eight lane facility. Wooden lanes. Check it out in the Amesbury, Mass area. Next to April. Every Sunday at King of the River, 9.30. Anybody call that one? For money. In the one seven ten dollars jackpot. After three qualifying weeks. Brian Cole looking at the five and the nine. Wood in the way. He uses it and he missed it. Train went right by the eight, would not stop. Larry Walsh, 20% chance. Just that pin. Bowl of nine, 79 to eight. Walsh a 10, 75 to eight, a low scoring string. Team USA up 417 to 388. They're up 29. Two boxes to go. And Fenway needs to win to stay in contention, pretty much. The good news, they have two marks to want. Actually, it's two marks apiece. So they need a bunch. All Grand Bomb leaves July at Academy Lanes Pub 125, the World Tournament on Canlip and Bowling Network. John Sears, 86 to 8. Breaks to the four horsemen as the 1, 2, and the 7. Chase New Set, 73 to 8. Look for his first mark. Won't be easy. He's got the fourth to the left, the 3, 6, 10 to the right. Sears missed it. Oh, what a try! Sears a 10, 90, 69. Got three tens in a row. Four in the string. And a spare nine, spare three to start. Open since. 10 for set guns. 83. He's got three tens in a row. When you're not marking, he's got a pin like that. That's pro bowling. Tens won't get Fenway Academy the win column here. They trail by 29 in the string. Yes, the Hayville again, the pack of five. It's Sears. You missed earlier, he appeared on the Jimmy Kimmel Live show twice. The Rock Paper Scissors contest. He won one of them at least. He's open for two and the five. Just a head pin left up. What you said? There's a 10. Four tens in a row. Nice finish. 106. 207 for two for Sean Sears. He set a nine after 133 first. Disappointing. 92 open second string. Eight boxes to go. Team USA up 30 right now. Team struggling to get to 500. Joe Smith on the left for Fenway on a big spare. Kevin Patchen also won a spare for Team USA. He's on lane 36 here in Haverhill at the World Tournament. And he gets seven, has the 3 6 right, the seven to left. The seven goes away. The wood's coming back for more. Oh, he takes another one. You got nine. And Smith gets nine. 93 for Joe Smith. 88 to 8 for Kevin Patchen. You got a chance for another one. All over it. Three spares in a row. Smith can't get it to go for Fenway. 
And that's the way it's been going all day for them. That's a nine. 99 through nine for Joe Smith. 98 in the ball for Kevin Paddington. Start the kids' league at age 10. Two time Lemonster Fitchburg City Championship winner. Five time Richie Mayer Team Championship winner also. On the bonus seven, gets the one. Three and the seven. There's a strike! For Smith, big strike in the 10th. 109 plus two. Patrick's in 105 through nine, but that's spare seven. 137. This will be four in a row. And a good try. Get 51 to five. And a 10 for 115. Sixty-four second half. One oh three. First one fifteen second, two eighteen through two. On the strike, seven. Triangle for Joe Smith. They might need to mark out to have a chance to win the string. Sparing strike to end the string. 119. 102 first. 221 through two. It may be too late. They're down by 28. Six bucks to go. Each team on a mark. Jay Simmer on a start on spare here on the left. 77 the ball. Hayes, Kevin Hazer, 96 through 8. Kevin's high 10, 13, 24, high 20, 24, 67. High, Bowling is three years old, 122 league bowler. Seven at first ball, two, four, seven, wood coming out of play. Simino, look at Big Phil, eight. 3 6 pair chance. 85 to win here in the second of three. Frank Cole removing that wood. Tim Hazer, parents pulled the league. He wanted to join and learn, so he joined the league real young. Won multiple state tournaments as a junior. He's open. Simino needs a spark. It won't go. You're going to be kidding me. Hazer 10. 106 through 9. Thinks he's just not going. Demway's way. 10. 95 for Simino. 9. Twenty pin lead right now is the lead for Team USA. They have a mark on the board. Jay comes up next. Hazer off to the right, was left the one, two, four, seven. Soon needs a mark. Help out. Triangle plus the ten won't be easy. Use that wood. Hazer for spare. Got it. Club spare in the ten. And a one thirty in their first. One sixty nine. A ball in the ten. Here in the second. Two great strings. One high scoring. One low scoring. Oh, nice try. Won't go. Great offer. And they're in trouble here late in the second. Nine for Simino, 105 second string, 229 through two. J. 
Kevin Hazer on a spare from Townsend, Massachusetts. Drills the puck, it gets seven, maybe eight. Eight it is. 124, 262. There goes, make it nine. 125 in the string, 263 for two for Kevin Hazer. Four boxes to go. Plus a spare here for, for JB. Yeah, the news is bad for Fenway Academy, not just here, but also to our left. Able Construction or Equipment from Canada is ahead of the number one team, Academy Lanes. They won the first game. They lead in the second game down to the last eight boxes by over it was 48 pins a minute ago. Wow. Wow. Shocking news. Nine drop on the spare for JB. Nine drop for Tim Jalbert. 90 through 8. An unbelievable turn of events here at Haverhill at the Worlds. That's right. And a Abel Haverhill came in in seventh place, just uh, two two points behind. But so it, the mo it, the mo they're about to they're moving right up in, in, in pace with the uh, Ma the MH team. Spare for Halbert, Jalbert, 88 involved through nine. So top five make the playoffs, reach the division. That's right. Pull and under the that. top seat, top team gets a top team gets a bye. In Pricewood, Flooring may have the edge now. You checking prices? You checking prices, Wood Bob? <laughs> JB off to the left has a Clary. Great job on the spare seven. Look at this. The seven, the nine, the ten. That's a slight chance of the wood. Ninety-five to nine. JB looks good. Oh, he got it! Came down for a landing on the eight. The dagger. In the tenth. One on nine in the ball. Oh, he got it! What a shot for his fan. Back to back for Tim Jalbert. Beautiful. 105 in the ball in the tenth. If they lose this win, they got to keep it close. They've got to win the next spin. They've got to win total. They keep those hopes alive. To be on life support, if not. And look at this. The picket fence. The 7, 8, 9, 10. On a spare. 115 for JV. 8 bill for Jalbert. Ends up with a 113 second string. JB 240, 252 through 2. Tim Jalba 232 through 2. Two bucks to go. And Team USA is up by 29. And to the Miracle Zone for Brian Kroll. Walsh for 3. Oh, that's it. Team USA takes the first two. They're four nothing. A devastating blow to Filming Academy. Again, two points out coming in. They were third last year in the U.S. Invitation, making the playoffs. Oh, oh, I got a beautiful shot. Spare the ninth, 89 the ball, trying to keep the total close. Going to the third. 5, 10, 4, discount. 2 for an 8 for Walsh. Just 83 through 9. Not your most high scoring game. It's been close all the way through. Walsh, nice ball there. 8 for 5, 7 split. Wood to help. Get out the broom. Ryan on the spare. Looks good. Diamond piece of wood. 95 to 9. Walsh pointed. Call for another spare. No. He's up the two and the four. Reset button for the third string. They're down four nothing. Walsh, nine, 92 second string, 222 for two, Brian Cole, nine, 98 
Correction, 104. 104, second swing, 219 through two. So Team USA takes the first two. They won that swing 553 to 532 with one string to go. They lead the total 1162 to 1125. A 37 pin lead. Now, first of three matches, including the Oakland playoffs later today on Canada Bim Bowling Network. Paul Grant, Paul with you live. Please like, share, and subscribe to Canada Bim Bowling Network free on YouTube. That's Canada Bim Bowling Network free on YouTube. All right. Devastating blow well, uh, from Memory Academy, Bob. Yeah, that was a one tweet by one two three. Wow. Yeah. The scores have been checked. Yeah, that's tough. This is real tough for Fenway Academy. I, I haven't gotten a prices score. I just saw Mike McGinty walking by and I wasn't able to grab him. All right, I'll give you the score. I'll give you the microphone by for now. Okay. And I'll go check the scores for you. Bob Lee in the play by play. All right, and also on the scoreboard. So, Aaron Halbido in for Sean Sear. Oh, just move it under the. There you go. GDP, helping me with the mic. It's like Mike McIntosh. In with a spare, in with a substitute roll for Fenway. Albedo with a Strike in the second while I was moving around with my mic. Jack just misses on his spare bit. And the ball down there that uh, looks to be in the way. Eh, he swings by it. Would have been would have been dead if he'd hit it, but he uh, skimmed right past it. 27 through 2. I'll get the scores up in a sec. Mike McIntosh has serenaded the bowlers on uh, Monday night. Team USA mostly coming from Western Massachusetts, Team Canada from uh, all around the uh, Central and East. Portion of the state. Magenton starts things off with a spare to match Joe Smith. Seven on the drill ball for Smith. And a matching seven there. So a pair of 17 boxes for the number two bowlers to start. Both bowlers open. That for a nine. 26, three, two. Well, if you just join us, we're starting off in third game of the 10th and penultimate team match here in the ICC Worlds competition. Both boys are 26 after two.
know. Taking aim. Oh, nice helicopter. Just skim past the pride. Tim Hayes would also open in the first to get things going. John Blaze walking by. What a mat atmosphere down here. All week. Everybody taking their uh, vacation time around this. Everybody who loves bowling enough and has a job that will allow it. Pair of tens for number three bowlers. Hayes and Simino. Jay now. Lane 36. Throws that. Ball coming in from the right side, but the ball comes out with a reverse spin. Hey! Strike! That's the seventy last ball for Pacers. He's at 20 plus 2. I believe I've got the scoreboard cut up, except for the fact that it is the third straight. Bob, well, are you ready to get an update? Well, you a lot of yeah, shocking please. developments here today. What'd you take it? So, update, folks, and Bob Lee will we'll get back to the, the uh, live action in just a moment. Academy Lane's the number one seed, tied with Prices Wood, has the tiebreaker in total pinfall. Both teams lost their first two. Oh, my goodness. The Academy lost oh, that spring, right? Academy lost two, right, over there? Yes. Yep, so they both lost their first two. That's Fenway Academy on our current um, Yep. Outlaw Riders, I, Outlaw Riders, I believe, won both strings. So they're in first place now from Canada. Calvin Locks team. Bowling Ball Mafia. I'm showing the, the standings on the screen. Yep. Uh, put the bowlers down on the lower left. And Fenway Academy lost the first two here at Able Construction. Uh, seventh coming in as 1 2. So they're in the running. Let's get to check a couple more things real quick, Bob. Get back to you for now. Go ahead, yeah. So repeat that again, though, Paul. So I, know I, I, I guess I got I got to check MH and I got to check Bowling Ball Mafia. Both Academy and Price is the number both one lost. Both, both lost. lost. Both lost. They're still at 56. Yes, I believe Outlaw Rides won both. Bowling Ball Mafia. Any update on that? I believe they won both. And Mass, Mass Holes MH, as you call them, has has won both of theirs. Fenway Academy lost both of theirs, and Abel won both of theirs. Right. Right. So uh, the I'm just going to double check that. Is, uh, you double check that. Thanks, Paul. Just give it up anyway, to the scores for the viewers. get back to the scores. And of course, we have a spare from JB Jr. while I was uh, getting those updates. And I'll bring you back to the uh, standard here. Oh, how about that? A strike on spare. Jason Jothier, he's in the running for the. Uh, he came in fourth in the uh, average. Uh, Averaging 124 through 22 games, the high triple at 410. And so far today, we're getting scores of 137 and 115. Uh, I think that's 52. He's, he's, over, he's a couple of pins over that, holding on. And with a spare and a strike that I haven't put up on your scorecard yet, he's at 30 plus uh, two balls after two. Uh, Timmy Jalbert over over here at, at 16, as Brian Crowell sets in, and I haven't caught up with Jay Simino. We had a 10 and a 9 for 19. Apologies, we're uh, trying to watch 7, 8, 10 matches all at the same time. And uh, that's not even to give credit to the uh, A division, which is um, outside of our uh, Wi-Fi and telecasting range. Hey, spare for crawl. The bid. It is Walsh with a spare to match. All right, the scoring's picked up again here. Both teams well above their average in the first game, and uh, with a 5.53, 5.33, well under their average. The two teams came in just one point different in the season on the, uh, through their first nine games. 5.70 for Fenway Academy, 5.69 for Team USA, but Team USA uh, trailed in the standings. Oh. 
Other than the fact that they won the first two games, they, they would be uh, out. First two. Update from Matt Nichols. From, uh, we're live on the air, by the way. Uh, <laughs> from the Masters. Yes. They won their first two. Now, uh, I understand that Price has lost their first two. Yes, they did. I understand oh. the Academy I, to our left lost their first two. Fenway Academy on our lane lost their first two. <laughs> we see Anthony Karen is going to be giving us some of these updates. What about the Outlaw Rides? They've won their first two. They're facing prices. They're facing prices. Oh, my goodness. Well, how about that? Anyway. Uh, down to the wire. <laughs> it is down to the wire. Maybe we should keep the standings up for y'all. But, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be keeping track of Jeff back to Jeff Walsh with two spares. Is at 29. Three, two. Brian Crawl with a spare. Seven fill and nine is at 26 as you watch. Oh, your eyes did the commentary. Here's Halbadel. He had a strike in the second. Three on his first ball out of the right corner. Mike McIntosh was open in the second after a spare seven in the first. Down the middle, and a strike! He crossed over onto the one-two pocket. That ball, that ball destroyed the pins for McIntosh, okay, Bob, who's now at 37. Sorry, Bob. Yeah. Rest of my voice, thank you a little bit. Uh, what happened with uh, Price's Wood is going outlaw rides with Tim Matero, yeah. the Ripping Act podcast battle between him and Calvin Locke's outlaw rides. Outlaw rides beat Price's Wood the first two strengths. That's so right. Big in the total. So outlaw rides updated standings are 58 and 18. Academy Lance and Price's Wood have lost okay. their first two strengths. They're both 56 and 20. Sorry, my apologies. All right, so I put the sands before. This is a, these are the standings before, after round nine, before the. So the current. viewers see that now, right? Yep, the viewers are, are see it, Paul. So if you're at home, I'll and I can put a telestrator on here. Just a moment, you want to update you on the standing? Okay. Actually, let me put the telestrator with a pencil. We got a strike while we're away, actually. Oh my goodness! Sorry, bud. No. Yep, that's right. That was Macintosh. That was when you arrived, when I was trying to fill that in. My mistake. Um, but it's not your mistake. It's just his blessing. Now he's in his second ball, and that'll be a nine fill for Mac, who's so, actually subbing for Jason Doucette, who I, who, by the way, who I never replaced on the scoreboard. So you can you can talk, Paul. All right, so you as all all our rides have... On your screen it says 54 and 18. They're now 58 and 18. They're now the number one seed in the second division. Price is wood and the Academy Lanes remain tied at 56 and 20. Ball and Ball Mafia's won two. They inch up closer to 49 and 27. MH, I hate saying that name, I thought MH for short. They've won two. They're 44 and 32. Fenway Academy needs to win to get in the playoffs next two matches. They've lost four today. They're 38 and 38. Now they're on life support. Potentially, able construction. Four points out coming in. They won both, so they're up to 40 and 36. They still have a fighting chance, but still have a lot of ways to go. A strike. Uh, it was a strike from Kevin Paddington's position, but actually, is that Pat? Yeah, that is Kevin. Okay. All right, I'll shut up now, Bob. All right, back to you. Hey. So that strike puts him at 36 through three. Look at all these strikes, my goodness. Hey, Minky, Minky is no longer. I, I gotta, I gotta get Albadel. Minky is listed on the board. Had a, had a pair of sevens after his strike, which he filled with six. So he's at 38 through four. Magic now. 36 through 3. Work on his second ball in the bonus. Joe Smith, for his part, had a 10. I'll put that in for a second. Not bad, not bad. Nine break there for Padgington. So he'll be at 45 and open in the fourth. Joe Smith, like I said, who I about a 30 with 36 after three puts up another 10 he's got a spare seven a nine and two tens two and four and he's now at 46 scored Bert just about even but we got two strikes coming up from uh, 
Tim Hazard and JB Jr. for Team USA, who won the first two games here. The first game, 609 to 593. The second one, 553 to 533. I'll move back to the game action on the, on the board. Got a few things going on in my uh, telecraft caster there. This match is heating up. I think Fenway Academy is, is in it, though. The team's winning, you know, sweeping up and down, up above and below. And they teams might even out. Although one of the teams sweeping, Abel, structured next to them, started two behind and are now two ahead. Fenway Academy, it's like they're picking up the pace, though. Uh, several marks in the first eight, eight boxes. Justin Waters is bowling on our left. Tim Hazard, though, on the match play against Jay Simino. Nine drop for Jason. Nope, nope. Hazard not happy through the, through the two hole with his second ball. Faces eight with this third ball coming up. There was a two fill on his, on his strike. Two. That one smarts. Two, three. Magic, by the way, is, was at 54. I'm correcting the scores as we go along. Bob Lee with you here. Match 10 of 11. The ICC World End! And uh, nine was the last to fall for JB Jr. Caught another, a double strike. Wow. That is, that's, he's, yeah, he started with a spare and now two strikes. JB Jr. At 50 plus plus. His next ball will count three times. Let's put that one in green just for fun here. And throw a 50 around it, but 50 points with more coming. On the double strike, JB with seven. So 57 through three through two. I'm on the I'm on, I'm live on the air. <laughs> you, you may do whatever you like. <laughs> hey, nice pickup there. Tim Jobber coming to life. My apologies, the scoreboard is not up to speed yet. Jay Simino had a spare in the fourth. He is at 48 in the ball. Timmy, 36. Now JB Jr. is at 75. I, after his double, after his double strike. I gotta clean this mess up. Hey, Paul. Not really. 75 to 4. Tim Hazer at 46. Four. Jeff Walsh now going. At 8 on his fill and another spare. So let's move let's advance him up to uh, 48. Through three complete. My apologies for the uh, 
live commentary as I work a spreadsheet. Right, crawl. At a 10 and 36. And a strike in the fourth. He's now at 46 and a ball. Jimmy Jobber at 36 and a ball. That is correct. Everything is now up to date except for Brian Crowell at 46. I saw a quarter of Worcester for Walsh and a 10. He's now at 58. Through four complete. Hey, Paul. Hey, bud. I'm going to give this microphone back to you. I'm having trouble keeping up with the scorecard. Hi. Right. My apologies to the viewers, but now you get your uh, number one broadcast. I had to get some, uh, suck down some honey again, and uh, the voice is loosening up, so you were asking in the morning. And get back into play by play in just a moment. Excuse me, please. Thanks, sorry. No, no worries. All right, back to live action here. Mike McIntosh on a spare, 66 in the ball for five. There's seven, that's the one, three, and the seven. Aaron Halvadel. He got another one! Bang! Double strike! Wow! 68 plus bonus balls. Unbelievable. They've got three double strikes to spare. And McIntosh, a spare. Back to back, 83 and a ball through six. Fenway Academy lost the first two. Oh, we're going to do it. Trying desperately to take the string of the total. they got a long way to go. Play of life on life support now. Coming in two points behind. The team's right above them have won both their strings. Joe Smith delivers eight. That's the two and the four. Kevin Paddington off to the right. It's six. The one, two, four. And the nine. Smith. Yes. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Patch. That's it. Next match will have Abel Construction and Bowling Ball Mafia a separate broadcast after this match on Kenilfin Bowling Network. Go home for all things Kenilfin. All Grand Fobley at Academy Lanes, Pub 125 in Haverhill, Massachusetts, the World Tournament. Joe Smith, 9, 55 half. Kevin Patchington, 7, 61 half. Smith, big ball, 9. Wood pushes into the four and holds up. Catch a lemon drop. A spare for Smith. 65 in the ball through six. A spare seven in the first. That is a nice second ball. These are the nine and ten. Used to work nicely, got one for nine to try. Ted Jensen's going to a 10. Ends up with a 9, 70 through 6. Let me drop. Oh. 
Jay Simino is working on his second spear in a row to spare nine in the third. A spear here through four on lane 36 Academy Lanes. In the pocket, he gets eight at the five and seven. 56 through four, Tim Hazer breaks up the, the check mark, has the four seven, has double strike two in the hole twice. In a two box, so unconventional 40 64 for the double strike. Okay, good offer, not accepted. A spare, a hazer, 56 half plus one. That's why I hate the half booster. 10 for Simino, 66 and 5 here in the third. First of three matches on Cannon from Bowling Network later this afternoon. We'll have the opening round playoffs. Tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, quarterfinals and semifinals to follow. Our friends at Alley Chat will take over for the finals. Frank DeLuca, Lemon O'Dowd, Kyle Bruce, Joy Britt, Corey Lisa are on hand. There's a post for Jay. Hazer, pin hit, has the parallel pins. Six in the spare, 62 half. Oh, one slap for Spam. Beautiful. Great to the post. 76 in the ball through six. Oh, what a shot for Spam. Back to back for Hayes. He's got four marks and five boxes. 62 through five. 72 in the ball through six. High scoring first with sluggish second spring. Back on track for both teams here in the third. But it's Team USA once again the lead by 37 to spring. Huge lead in the match. Coming back for the Julian. Only eight. On the stand for Tim Jalbert, 44 through four. JB a double strike of his own. A spare double strike. Nine, 75 through four. Coming in here. Hey, you got to be kidding me. Not getting the breaks, Fenway Academy. 9, 54 half for Tim Jalbert. Great bowler. As is JV, all these bowlers are. He gets a 9, 84 half. Had a 137 in the first and 115 in the second. His team going for the 8 0 sweep in the upset. Jalbert, there's a good ball there. Breaks up the parallel pins, just a five. Just four. Then we're in a big hole. Spare. Pumps and Smith. 64 in the ball through six. They get four marks in a row. For each bowler to work on. And a strike for Brian Kroll. Five marks for the team. Have a chance still. JB with a 10, 94 through 6, 362, 334. Team USA up 28 in the spring. There are 65 in the match. Four spares, one strike. The strike Billy here for Brian Crow for Fenway Academy. One strike, one spare for Team USA. Jeff Walsh. And three spears are to start. He's at 58 and 4. Ryan, first ball on the strike seven. In the pocket, nine, ten, strike. Fourth mark in five boxes. Perfect string so far. Roll for spear and strike. Got it. 56 through 4, 66 half plus 1. Great ball at Brian Crow. <coughs> Always up there all the time in post series playoffs. Little tours. All five balls on spares. Close left. That's the 1 7, 6 10 to the right. 72 half. 
Walsh on the strike for double nine. <coughs> double strike, Terry. A lot of double strikes today in this match. <coughs> Kroll, just the wood, just the head pin. Walsh the nine pin, piece of wood in front. For a spare and strike. He's got it. What a start for him. 78 half, 88 in the ball, through six. Brian, nine. 81 through six. Four bucks to go in this third and final string. Our first of three matches. Playoffs later on today. Opening round. Semi quarterfinals, semifinals tomorrow morning. Also on Camp Bowen Network. Finals on Alley Chat. Top of the order. Strike Bill here. You said nine. <coughs> Mike McIntosh on his spare. 83 to ball. Only four. Make it five. Eight to six. All right, Beastwood has to go left, I think. And he went a little more to the red line. Missed it. It's good news from Fenway Academy. Can Mike McIntosh pick it up? Oh, what a shot was there! Huge! Give them here some bonus money, three in a row. 98 in the ball through seven. Apple dollar 10, 96 for 7, 420, 384, 36 pin lead for Team USA in the string. Still the size will lead the match. Aaron plus White, only three. The guitar player, Mike McIntosh, on the bonus. Five. One, two, four, six, ten to the right. On the spare. One, oh, three, two, seven. There's the ball. Three to the right, the fourth to the left. Good try. A little more inside, he may have had it. Great offer, though. Alpha Dell, me. You said, right? Aaron Halbert, 104 through 8. McIntosh, an eighth at time, 111 through 8. He's a 128th league board in his earlier years. Only the Atlantic Camp and Symbols for Class B Division. I get back on track, fill this game back up. Kevin Padgettin, 70 to 6, that's a 2 1 split. Joe Smith with a big spear fill here. His team's down 31 in the string. 5, 70 to 6. Pad trying to kick it over, good try. Smith, 4 1 split, missed the object pin. Has 10, 80 through 7. Final string of the match. Way left for Smith. Goes at 78 through 7. The mark situation. Two spares for Team USA. Two spares for Fenway Academy. Team USA has to lead by 28. Good string. Another 2 1 split. This time it's the 2 4 and the 10. Smith, head pin hit, another ugly lead. Try to kick it over. Good try. The wood's coming back in slow motion. Hits it, but ran out of gas. Couldn't find an electric charging station. Both holes open. 10 for Patch. 90 through 8. 
nine for Smith, 87 through eight. Team USA with the upset, first two strings, lead here in the third, 448, 419. It's a 29 pin lead. Of 66 to match. Belmont needs to somehow get these four points. Two for the string and two for total. Get a chance for the playoffs. More than likely. Kevin Hazer working on a spare. 72 in the ball for six on lane 36 at the World Tournament. Another half whistle. You did a double strike, Bill. Wow. 74 through 6, the hard way. Simino on the spare. The world discount to 5 and 10. 84 through 6. That's the way it's been going all day. The Fenway. Cage is open. We have 138 and 125 already. Simino, nice try. Just missed. Cage goes for 2 and gets it for 9. 83 through 7 with a double strike and two spares. Right back, right back. Nine for Simino, 83 to 7. Hayes. In the pocket, thin it. Now look at this. A little better than he thought, but still about to leave. At least he's not a half whister. <laughs> Can't believe it. Simino has the check mark. The five to the left. The three, six, ten to the right. They need some marks. Fighting for their playoff lives. Just missed the two pin. Simino, no. Hazer, 10. 93 through 8. Simino, matching 10. 102 through 8. 469, 445. The lead is down to 24. Both teams are marked. 14 boxes to go in this match. Another one after this, separate broadcast on Kenneth Bowen Never, the last qualifying match. Then the first round of the playoffs after that on Kenneth Bowen Network. Please like and share and subscribe on Kenneth Bowen Network. It's free on YouTube. Kenneth Bowen Network. Another 5 10 split. JV. Job on the spare for Strike. Got it. Oh, fire it out. Strike on spare. 74 through 6, 84 plus 2 through 7. JV could try. Jason to 10, 104 to 7. As a 137 and 150 in his first two. The lead is down to. Oh, let's give this update after this box. Off to the left, he gets four. Jabra working on the strike in lane 35 at Academy Lanes, April, Massachusetts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, strike one! Huge! Punch double strike! Tim Jabra! Well, what, what bonus balls? JB, a bit for a spare, won't go. They're back in the game. JB a nine. Right, right, right. Turn up there now. One thirteen to eight. Twelve bucks to go. Four eighty-eight. Four eighty-five. The lead is down to three. But Team we'll USA. It, but they lead the match by forty. That first string, Team USA is up in the mid forties. Then we cut it to five late, but they held on to win it by sixteen. Jeff Walsh on a spare though here for Team USA. He has a 2 1 split, they get a 1 1 split. The 4 to the left, the 6 to the right. 96 through 6. Brian Crow head pin. 
the two, the nine, the ten. Eighty-one through six coming in. Lost the helicopter in. Oh, you gonna be kidding me? Somehow find the hole. What are the odds of that? It's something I would do. Try to kick it over. Oh, he did it! The shot was there! Sensational! How do you want the ball for seven? Walsh a nine. 105 to seven. 5 for 5, 495. The lead is 10 for Team USA. They have no marks. Fenway Academy has two. A strike, a double strike, and a spare. Walsh in the pocket, triangle plus the 10. Fire from Stone Mass. Close right, only four. 95 to 7. Tense battle here at the World Tournament. Walsh, got two. This is a not very high percentage shot, but this means something. He's got the head pin, but it won't carry. <laughs> Walsh, nine. One, 14 through 8. Ryan chops up 1 for an 8. 103 through 8. Two blocks to go for each bowler. In the final swing of this first of three matches on Candlepin Bowling Network, your home for all things Candlepin Bowling. Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. 514-507. Team USA up by 7 to string. No box for them. One strike for Fenway Academy. But Team USA has a big lead in the match. But it is a double like strike, Paul. Four. It's a double man. strike here. Get it. Oh, the one down comes up. I was saying, Paul, the one yep, strike yep. is a Yep. Double strike. Not just twice, right. Mike McIntosh, the 7, 9, 10. Aaron Halberdell, 1, 2, 8, and 10. Somebody really needs to get total somehow to stay in the good contention. Now, try and spin it over. Oh, good try. Just came up an inch too short. Alvadel missed. Hey, stick and go, Mac. The right. Stick and go. The one and the two. Mac, a 10. One twenty one to nine. Aaron matches a ten. Alvadel one fourteen through nine. It's still a seven pin lead for Team USA. Looking for the eight oh sweep. On paper, it didn't look good for them. You gotta bowl your game. Any given day, any given match, any given string, any given box. Back in the pocket for Strike! He's all fired up! Hey, Capital gets seven, the one, two, and the ten. Mac is back, the 131 plus two and the ten. Clutch! 131 plus two and the ten. Clutch! Leaves up the one and only. And that can give him the lead on the bonus. Team USA has no marks on the board. Then we a double strike and a strike on the board. Aaron and nine. Good string, 123. Michael with his own tax business. Tax for the county business. Great ball. Plays guitar in Hebrew, Massachusetts at a club. Played here Monday night after the singles knockoff a couple hours. First ball on the strike. Sizzles back toward the seven. Got a point. When he goes for the short, so he tries to sweep the two pin into the six and ten. They need pins. I would think to go for all three. 
see how he plays. He goes right for the short two and gets it for nine on the strike. 140 for Mike McIntosh. Struggling all week. <coughs> Comes up big here in the third string. 140. Eight bucks to go. They now have the lead. Fenway Academy leads by three in the string with the down of the match by 34. You have a double strike in the board still. They need a bunch more though. Joe Smith, three. Kevin Padgett, ten. Two, two. Make it a two one split. The two four, the six to the right. Fantastic finish here. Smith off the wall. You're going to be kidding me. The five, seven, ten. I get two here with the wood at least. They move on to the tenth. Pad striking it over. Oh! Nice try, nine. 96-9. Padgett, 10 of 10, 100 through 9. 545, 543. A two-pin lead for Fenway Academy in the spring. But they need total. Down 35 right now. Smith just missed. 36% chance that would for Pro Bowl's performance. Stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Edge in the pocket. Can't break up the split. The four to the left, the ten to the right. Smith for a spare. Looks good. Oh, one go. So close. Oh, what a try. Ten for Joe Smith. 106, third string. Pad to 10, 110. Third string. Six points to go. 555, 553. Then we up by two in the spring. They're down 35 in the match. They have a double strike coming up in the fourth bowler. But first is the third bowler, Chase Simino, 102 through 8. Tim Hazer, 93 through 8. Fenway desperately needs four points to stay in the hunt. Lost the first two. Half Wister. Hazard in the pocket. 2 1 split. Wood to help. Playing Tropicop. Tropicop holds up the wood. Another thrilling finish here at the World Tournament. Wow. Swing over. He got it. Was that good? It is good. A spare living on the edge. Tim Hazard. 103 to ball through nine. Wasn't sure it was good at first from Angle. A tough six. The Simino. 108 to nine. A killer. Able construction up next against Bowling Ball Mafia. We'll sign up after this broadcast. Come back in a few minutes afterwards for a final qualifying match. And then later on, say, first round of the playoffs tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. We start the quarterfinals and semifinals. Simino 9. Our friends at Alex Shell will bring you the finals. Nice ball 9 to Bill. 1 12 through 9 for Hayes. Coming up big today here. 138 125 is first two. Finals to Chris Merrill in the singles knock on Monday. A spin for Simino. Coming back to six blocks, 118 of the ball. The 10th. Hayes back to back. 122 in the ball. The 10th. <laughs> Final ball from Simino in the match. And the only two a half Wister. Ouch. 120. Took a lot of those today. Tim Hazer knows all about that. And he gets five, he gets six. A six fill. Ends up with a 128. 
138, 125, 128. What a performance. 391 for Tim Hazard for Team USA on Veterans Day at the World Tournament. Tim Jalbert, lane 36 here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125, working a double strike. This team now is down by 15. Matches in trouble. Almost impossible. For a triple! Oh my god! That would have done it. That would have helped. 20 in that first box. 103 through 7. 113 ball in the eighth. JB gets two. For a spare and double strike. He's got it! 123 through 8. 133 to ball through 9. Wow! JB, short by two. A three in the five. Fenway takes the lead in the string. One last stand, a total. JB at 10. 123 to 9. 602, 598. Fenway up by four in the string. Now 33 in the match. But that does not include, I don't think, that spare plus this one. I believe it's 23 right now, officially. On the bill, nine! Double strike, two trucks in a row. JB with a check mark. 142 through nine. Needs this. Got it! What a shot! Clutch! JB's open. They still have a chance at total. Tim Jabba, huge here in the third. Start up a seven to nine. 26 in his first three. Now he's got a bonus ball. 143 in a ball. 10. Eight for JB. 131. Brilliant. 137. 115. 131. 383. Twenty-one in the match. Minus this. He gets nine more. Three, two double, two strikes and three nine bucks. One sixty-one. What a performance by Tim Jalbert for Fenway Academy. Two points to go. They lead this thing by twenty-four. The match lead is down to twelve. Is that right? Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen the match. Fenway's down thirteen. Brian needs a double strike or two marks to none. He's down big in the first. Came back, lost by sixteen. Cut to five. Safety in the third. Pull four. He might need a double strike. Jeff Walsh with the dagger. He's got a check mark plus the nine and ten. Good for help. Really finish it. Tournament. Two matches left after this, plus the, the playoffs. Kroll, first spare, almost. He's a double now to win the match. Oh, oh so close. Down an effort by both teams. Got to give it up for them. Kroll, nine. 112 through 9, double strike territory. Ball to 9, 120 through 9, final box to the match. The match is 13. Unless Jeff can get under a 7. I will need a double strike. And a strike in the full box. High scoring strength, 639, 615. Needs a strike, and that's it. Team USA will take six of eight. Then we will take the third string. What a valiant effort. A furious comeback. Down to 70s at one point. Cut the 13 or so. And Team USA hangs on to take six of eight. And that could take Fenway out of the playoffs. Rolls oh, missed it. What a match. Well, congratulations to the great sportsmanship as always at Kenneth Bowling. 
Troll and nine, one twenty one. Jeff Bush, a ten, nine, one thirty two. Get a one thirty in the first, ninety two in the second. They win this, they lose the string, six twenty four for them, six forty eight for Fenway. The final score. Team USA 1786, Fenway Academy 1773, six points for Team USA, two to Fenway. Bob, what a thrilling match. Amazing comeback. That, that 161 performance from Tim Jelbert was almost superhero stuff. Uh, 648 to 624. It looks like it's a good it's a little rest. You know, 553 to 532 mid score. Anyway, Fenway. Okay, our next, our next match is Bowling Ball Mafia in the playoffs. Able construction right in the hunt for a playoff also. We'll have it through a few minutes. We'll sign up for now. Paul Grant, Bob Lee. We'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you for watching this great game of Kenneth and Bowling. The ICC Championships from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Paul, just a, just a moment though. I, I noticed that Academy is real close, and they're even in their third year. We might want to move move our camera over, even though we can't. Uh, um, why don't you go take a glance over that, and, then, and, I'll, and, and I'll I'll mic you up as soon as I change this camera angle. I'm seeing the score as 441 to 435. Luke. It is able. Able construction is in the lead. Paul. Yeah. They lead in the match by 1597 to 1554. Remember, uh, Academy came in as the as the leaders in the division. Down to the last eight boxes, Paul. Justin wanted they're about to lose eight points. Academy. Well, they're not. I wouldn't say about to. That's a really close match. So why don't you why don't you call that match? What you see. Right now the score is 460 for Able, 435. All right, are we on this? Can we see that from the viewers at home? Yes, the viewers can sort of see it. Okay, so I'll get my perch here, see if we can uh, call this here. Cross alley action here, in front of 35 and 36, standing over here way off to the right. Able construction, four points out of a playoff spot coming in. Awesome damage, and we'll jump past Fenway Academy. They can win the string in the total. Make no crosses to our right on lane 34. Bonus we'll coverage here. No cross nine, 97 to nine. Able construction right now is up in the string by about 23 unofficially. Make that 31, I believe, now. We're way off to the right. We're trying to do extended bonus coverage here for you. Looking forward to our next match. So it's 467, 444. It is a 23 pin lead <coughs> for Able construction in the string. They've got the match in hand. Again, coming in today, if Bob can put that on the screen, uh, Fenway Academy lost six just now, but Academy Lane was number one coming in tied. They had the tiebreaker. But the price is wood. Price is wood lost. First two. How'd you guys do? Keep our camera uh, off to our left here. We're trying to see what's going on here. And that hole just completed an eight, an eight nothing sweep um, down down on the left. They were in fifth place going in. Now they're probably still in fifth. Probably. What about, about bowling ball mafia? Do you know what the bowling ball mafia? No idea. Okay, thank you. Matt Nichols in the report. Could you bowling ball mafia, please? All right. We're getting updates uh, on the go here. Make no cross. Eight, nine blocks here. 106. 
That third string. Sean Tuff next for them. Sean to 72 8. Murph on the left. Variable construction. We'll see the next on Kenneth Mullen Network, next match. It's Glenn Murphy on lane 33. He gets three. Give him a way up to the right, obstructed view a little bit. Volleyball Mafia is well in control and about to finish an 8 0 sweep over Millbrook. Okay. And Millbrook was right there too, right, Bob? Uh, Millbrook, it, Millbrook was down at the bottom. Okay. All right. Yep. All right, we're trying to keep up to date here. So, a big shake up today in the standings. 10 for Murph there. 80 69. A spare for Sean Taylor. 80 in the ball for 9. Academy Lanes, Prices Wood, number 1 and 2 have lost. Their first two. And a strike on Spare McTaylor to give him a chance at the screen. All right, first strike, it's eight. Five and the eight. Sean Taylor, 90 through nine. 100 plus two in the tenth. As a score from her. The Outlaws just completed an 8 nothing sweep over Price's Outlaw ride rides of Canada and swept wow, they're Prices. In, they're in first place now, 62 yep. and 18. Taylor, first ball on the strike, it's 8. Continuing coverage here, extended coverage. Tell me, Academy, match we just did, lost six of eight. Tell me, uh, to, um, to Team USA, we're covering the final four boxes now of Academy Lanes. We lost the first two. We can hang on to second place still. Sean Taylor, the nine for all that strike. Goes from 70 to 8, 109 for the strength. Is that 501 to 492 over there? 492 to 501. That's a 9-pin lead right now. Variable construction, trying to take 8. Water struck 9. Another update, Paul. Central Park Lanes won 6 out of 8 over uh, over a Avon. Uh, okay. Over the last place team, sorry. Yeah. Barbarians or okay. Avon Brown. Okay. Yeah. Water struck. There, got it! There they come, down the stretch. Off the wall, won't go. Caddy Beach has a chance to tie. Yeah. Justin Waters working his spare, 106 in the ball through nine on lane 34 at the World Tournament. Head pin six, seven. 113 through nine, strike bid nine. Ryan Cox has the ninth pin, two pieces of wood. Another thrilling finish string here. Bonus coverage here on Canada Pro Network. Waters, good try. Terrific ball of Justin Waters. Munich, Massachusetts. And a doink, Ryan Cox. 
Ten for Waters. Jenny Harris up next on a spare. 23 for Justin Waters. Two boxes to go. It's tied. 528 apiece. Let's say 528 each. 520 or 528? 528. 528? 528. So it's an 8 pin lead plus a bonus ball for Denny Harris. Six. And they look good for taking two points at least. They were down here in the, late in the third. They came back to take two. Five, five. Make sure you step on the wire. Oh, you know, you might have to move. There you go. Up over this one. There we go. There we go. We got this. Oh, no. That's to be started on golf. Harris at 10. 101 through 9. 16 penalty, double strike territory. We're able to take 8. So Academy is looking good, surviving 2 points. Was looking good a few minutes ago. Furious rally by the third, fourth, and fifth bowlers. Harris for Julian. Got it. A Julian strike. Had been the last to go. And that should do it for the two points. Dave Julian in Canada made a living off that shot. Had been the last to fall. They called the Julian. Won't go. Academy Lanes takes two points. And they pull ahead of Price's Wood for second place right now. Bob, let's sign up. We'll come back in a few minutes, Bob, for our second match of the day in just a moment. And Academy survives, gets two points in the eighth, and now in second place. What's the final score there, Paul? Uh, trying to seek my angle. 563, 537, they went by 26, a dominating finish for them. We'll okay, get ready for our next match. Paul Grant, Bob Lee saying so long for now. We'll see you for our next match in a few minutes on Canada Bowling Network. Oh, oh. Able Construction from Canada against Bowling Ball Mafia. 